Hey there, 64 Valiant Steed. And one of the guys that was here for our Mopar showdown a couple weeks ago has the 63 Plymouth Valiant station wagon. So he's here today and it's a V200. And um, I'm just gonna go around and kind of show it to you. It's got some really cool things on here underneath the hood when I get around to that. He's got all the trim that he needs to put back on the car. And uh, he just acquired this not too long ago. It's kind of fun. Take a look inside. He's got a Barracuda steering wheel on there. It's kind of cool. It's got cruise control. There's a little knob. Came off of a, a newer vehicle. And if anybody knows when they look at this, what vehicle that might have come off of, please leave a message in the comments below. And part of changing the cruise control, you have to change the, the pedal at the floor so it's not mounted to the bottom. It's sort of suspended. It's got a beautiful headliner. Obviously, it's not original interior. Well, maybe maybe it is. Well, it's, or it's done similar to the door panels. As you can see, the door panels got the black stripe in there. But I like it. I like a bench seat. Actually, in my Signet, I even though Signets came with bucket seats, um, I prefer to have a bench seat. As you can see, it's a V200. It's got 14 inch wheels on his car and he's got these nice spinners. Roof rack. Luggage rack. Great original license plates. It's a very straight car. He said that the driver door and the passenger front fender was replaced, but doesn't look bad at all. One of the problems with these cars is the rear quarter panels are almost always hit. One of the options on these cars, or it's not an option, but came on a V200 are these trims. And uh, even though they weren't available in 64 or on a Signet, I actually would like to put them on my car. I love that extra trim. Anything to uh, customize my car. As you can see, this is what it would be. And that fits perfectly on that fender. And how cool would that be? And he told me that he drove three and a half hours to get this little emblem. <laughs> He's laughing in the background. And I don't know how to open these cars, let's see. Ah, here we go. Aha. So we were looking at the um, the engine earlier that's why the air cleaner is on the ground over there but uh, the cool thing is like I said he's got the cruise control this is the setup all this extra brackets and um, the linkage was removed from here and you can see it's not on here anymore and the speedometer cable comes from the transmission it comes up into this box and then he's got this other one that goes down into the other area 
all these hoses. Oh, it's got a vacuum. It goes vacuum port. Kind of interesting, huh? And it's a different carburetor. It's a Holley, but it's not a 1920, as you might see on these cars originally. So I guess so that everything could fit all this linkage. Um, he's got power steering, and I didn't show you that in one of the other Valiants from a couple weeks ago. It's kind of cool. A little work to do, but it drives. It's got this great little, uh, keeps the rust from going into the radiator. He also said that this radiator is customized from a V8, um, and it's set up with the, um, for a slant, uh, for the slant six. It's got a nice shroud on it and this custom fan blade. Electronic ignition. And I don't know what else I can tell you about it other than, uh, I wish I had a station wagon. I'm getting bored with my convertible, believe it or not. Maybe I just need another car to work on because I've been learning and I want to learn more. Or I just want to keep doing so that I don't forget. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.